Hi, Veronica Kennedy here. I have two opt-ins on my homepage because real quick, I wanted to show you, this is a MailChimp opt-in. I do like the service. However, there is a limitation you need to test and be aware of. Real quick, um, you have this form. You can ask for first name, last name, or you could just keep it short and sweet. Just get the email address. If you go to a different email service provider, however, they do like if you have a first name as well as an email address just to confirm that legitimacy when you upload um, the emails that you may have already collected. This is something important I wanted to show you. I went ahead and I just copy and pasted uh, the naked or the simple code. So you'll see that it worked. However, we're going to go back and show you the sign up lists where it says add subscribers or lists in my MailChimp. And this is what I'm calling your attention to. You'll notice that my test email, Kennedy Consulting at Gmail, which I own as for my name is Veronica Kennedy, does not show up in my list. So it doesn't really help me to have a MailChimp opt in if I'm not indeed collecting the emails from people who may be opting into my sign up. So without testing this, you might not be aware of it. So again, real quick, we're going to do this. Just want to show you. Um, I went to sign up forms. One things I do. One thing I do like about this, uh, a lot of forms you have a double opt in. For when you're opting in to get a free gift, it's nice to get that landing page with the free gift right away. There is a school of thought that you need to go to your email address to confirm that double opt in. As long as someone has visited your page and has legitimately asked or opted in with their email and their name, or at least their email address, as long as you know it's a legitimate opt-in, I think they should just land to the fulfillment page rather than receive a landing page reminding them they still have to confirm their opt-in through their email in order to get the free item. Uh, there may be some disagreement with me on that, but assuming that that is indeed what you want to set up for your opt-in site, um, MailChimp lets you do it. However, if I'm not receiving or collecting the emails from people who are opting in, I either think it doesn't work or I can't follow up with them to, you know, hey, did you get it? Did you like it? I, you know, grow the email list, which is the whole reason you're providing an opt-in to begin with. So all I did is I went to Naked Forms on MailChimp and you can see here's the MailChimp sign-up form. Just copy and pasted that in. And I didn't notice why it's not allowing me to actually collect the email address. So here you can see there's a short code. And so here's my workaround for that, that allows me to create the same effect, but it actually does collect the email address in MailChimp. So I want to show you that real quick. It's a plugin. It's called MailChimp for WordPress. And the signup is pretty straightforward. You go to MailChimp. I will need to show you where you can find your API key. Let's see, here we go. Where do I get that API key? Profile, it's either an, it's an account. So when you download that plugin, again, it's MailChimp for WordPress. Here's integrations, nope, it's an extras. So you go to account, you go to extras, there you go, there's your API key. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna show you mine, but scroll down to your API keys and then you just copy and paste it into the plugin and then it will show you your lists. You go to your lists, go to forms, and here you also have the option to select the double opt-in or not with this plugin, which is something I really appreciate about it. So same thing, you title it the same as you would in MailChimp, and then you can go ahead and customize your form. What I like about this, just real easy to use placeholder instead of, let me just show you again real quick. I like the placeholder where someone would type in their name or email address instead of having the label in front of an empty box, but that's just a personal preference. And then you get the short code right here. One last thing to show you, and this tutorial is over. Copy and paste that in, and you'll see I'll show you that does actually work. One quick thing in settings, use a double opt-in. It's not a subscription. It's opting in for a specific um, tool that they want to use. I, as long as it's again legitimate, visitors are genuinely opting in, then it's your choice if you want to go for the double opt-in or not. So obviously I'll be deleting the duplicate opt-in. I just wanted to show you real quick. I like this layout. So we're going to do a test and use my Kennedy Consulting at Gmail and I'll show you how this time 
when it's uh, I hit access now as any visitor would when they visit my page here they get their opt-in I'm going to close that now we're going to revisit this list in MailChimp there's two ways to check go to fields sometimes it does take a minute messages settings Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's go into MailChimp. I need to get out of forms. Go into MailChimp. Here we go. Quick visibility keys. That's what we're looking for. And here it says edit this list in MailChimp. Click on this. It will take you to your list. And since this one is quick visibility keys, you can see that indeed it did collect my name and email address. So if you find that your MailChimp opt-in is not actually testing that it's collecting your signups, a nice workaround for that is MailChimp for WordPress and it is a free plugin. Thank you.